Hi, this is David with the Discount Dragon. And today is a very brief art tip for people doing steampunk stuff. And this is something that is so obvious that I hesitated to even do a video about it, but you never know, there could be somebody out there who isn't thinking along these lines. Now, steampunk stuff is usually heavily involved in gears, but also heavily involved in brass work and copper work. And you can, of course, paint anything brass or copper, but it's always nice to get that real, bra real brass look and have brass and copper elements. Um, one of the things you can use is pre-existing brass and copper stuff from the thrift store, and one really good source for that is candle holders. Now, probably everybody knows this, but just in case, um, candle holders, this is a rather large one, and almost none of them the, of this sort of style that are brass are cast in one piece because the molds are more difficult to make in one piece and it just doesn't make sense in terms of manufacturing. It's just not as easy or as efficient. So most candle holders, even the small ones, are made in multiple pieces and they can just be screwed apart. In this case, you end up with three interesting pieces to use for other projects. This one has a central screw thread, which is less typical. More often you will find uh, just brass pieces that screw into each other, uh, which is kind of nice because then sometimes you can take those pieces with the same th screw thread, thread diameter and join them together to make things like ends for walking sticks and what have you. So here you're going to end up with this piece here, which could be used for, as a base for a project. You're going to end up with this a piece of spiral brass tubing, and then this here, which could also be used as a base for a project. Uh, perhaps you could take this one, let's see, put that off there entirely. You could take this one and maybe use that for a base for a globe, or mount a magnifying glass on there, or what have you. Uh, same with this, you could use it for some other art base or uh, any number of things. You could use it for the muzzle of a, a, a steampunk gun, kind of work for that, kind of a blunderbuss sort of look. And of course a zillion things you could do with this. You could turn this into part of a cane. And then here's another one, once again, it all screws apart, you end up with different separate elements. So, do not overlook the brass candle holders and other similar items you see in the thrift store because they're a treasure trove of solid brass stuff. You couldn't buy scrap brass for the price you pay for stuff like this most of the time. So, just hit the sales and have fun.